Okay, this is a video on gua sheng, which is like gua sha, except you use different solvents, so it's more effective than just the simple gua sha technique. So what you do is you go to Costco, or wherever you can get affordable vodka. This is six time distilled, so it's pretty, pretty high quality, and these are about $13 each at Costco. So how you make them, you're going to make one alkaline, you're going to make one acid solution. The alkaline one contains two teaspoons of fossil shell flour or diatomaceous earth, two tablespoons of ionic magnesium trace minerals, two tablespoons of soleil salt or a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, two tablespoons of living silica, two teaspoons of sodium bicarbonate or aluminum free baking soda and one tablespoon of MSM and the acid solution has all of that except instead of the baking soda it has two to three hundred drops of fulvic acid minerals and you can get all those things at Earthshift I'm going to show you with this one if you shake it up you can see the color changed more of a yellow that's the fulvic. And with this one, it's going to be a lot lighter. When you shake these, by the way, and they're full, you always, these caps aren't the highest quality. They're just plastic and all this, you know, especially the acidic one will eat away at that. So you don't want to, you want to put a towel on there on top when you're using this. The other things you'll need, bullhorn spoon, uh, jade works as well. You just want something that uh, is natural material. Don't use like a spoon, like silverware, because it actually it actually has a nickel in it. Just some type of natural material. This is Earth Shift coconut oil. I just buy it by the gallon and I put it in there. This is magnesium chloride, 31%, from the Zeichstein crystal bed. And organic fulvic minerals. This stuff's magic. You can use it a lot of ways. So this is a very in-depth topic, so I'm not going to get too far into it, but I'm going to at least show you how to start, and a lot of this is experimental, you just, you kind of learn as you go, but I'll tell you what I know about it so far. So with these two solutions, you never use them both on the same day, you alternate. One, one day you use the acid, the other day you use the alkaline. You can do this once a week. I'm doing this about every other day. Really what you're just trying to do is open up the pores. So each pore has four inches to four feet of tiny hose connected to it. And those pores get plugged really easily. Makeups, just pollution, what we're eating, and when those pores are shut, then we get problems. And the cool thing is with this protocol, you'll notice, is you just feel better in general because you're squeezing out a lot of pus and just garbage out of your pores. So you have, your body has to deal with less toxins. And also you just feel better because you're actually starting to breathe through your skin. So when your pores are open, you're absorbing oxygen, more oxygen into your body instead of just through the lungs. What I do is I get a towel. You can get a shop towel. This is just a hand towel. And get it white so you can look at the color of what comes out of you because it's kind of weird. So today I'll use the fulvic acid. So what I do is open up the top. Shake it up your hand on there or the towel. Here it's like fizzing. Try to make like a fist and I'm just gonna pour it on there. Okay you can see it's on there. Now what I do is I just start rubbing it on and it's kind of like a this kind of rubbing. It's not like this. It's like this. So and ideally you want to have someone else 
helping you with this because it's kind of hard to do this on your own because you can only get so many areas. With other people too, they squeeze the skin back so that forces the pores open. Otherwise, another way to use this is to use a far infrared sauna just to open up the pores. I'm out in the sun right now. But really, you just want to get started. You don't want to have too many excuses about why not to do this. You can just get your vodka, get the Skin Cleaning Solutions Earth Shift. As you can see, I'm holding it back here so that I'm not. So it's not rubbing against my skin. And what you're doing is you're just wiping off the surface coat that's kind of like yellowish on your skin. And that's what's it's kind of like a wax. I do this, I just kind of like go under all over. You want to hit every inch of your body. And once you remove that wax, that's what these other things are for. So I'm going to use everything. You get everything, armpits, face. I'm going to use the fulvic minerals and the magnesium as well and the coconut oil. So this is just to do a good alone. If you're just going to do one thing, just this alone will help. But I'm going to show you this too. You can make kind of like a, one of these. And I'm going to pour it in the center. And you like this to get your back. Which is the hardest area to reach on your own. You want to shave all the parts of your body that has hair on it where you can grab the hair. So I pretty much just shaved everything, armpits, legs, arms, just to make this more effective. And especially when you start using coconut oil and these other things. Just makes it easier. Okay, I'm gonna do some more. I'm gonna go the other way. It's nice as too, you get a little nice stretch in there. And you really wanna push hard, you don't wanna be gentle because you're wanting to push this stuff into the pores. You'll notice that you actually burn less in the sun when you do this because it's what's in your skin that makes you burn. It's not the sun itself. Especially if you're eating a lot of raw food and just a lot of greens, you'll notice that you can last in the sun longer. You don't want to wear sunglasses ever. You only want to wear sunglasses at night to protect your DHA and melatonin production and stores blue light during the day. So in the morning, I walk out here and I look towards the sun and that's waking up my whole hormonal system, my brain chemicals, everything with light. We have it backwards, wearing sunglasses during the day and having our naked eyes at night staring at light. We screw up our whole system, our circadian rhythm, whenever we have these cycles reversed. Most people are in the darkness throughout the day. They're indoors, they're wearing sunglasses, and then at night they blast themselves with light. And no wonder why everyone's obese and, and depressed and anxious and all sorts of things. It's because we're living out of balance with the system. So now what I'm going to do is put on the coconut oil. My skin's clean. I just did my upper body right now. You can do everything. You want to do every square inch of your body, hands, feet, legs. Your face, just be careful. Be a little more gentle. You can dilute it. I dilute this al alkaline solution 50-50. I use it on my face. After I go to the bathroom, I squirt it down there because the alcohol eats up all the feces. So you can only wipe so well and there's still going to be stuff left over. What you do now is take coconut oil. This is raw, organic, centrifuge, spun coconut oil. It is the best. You can try all the other ones. This smells the best, tastes the best. So I'm just going to take a little bit and 
start rubbing it everywhere. This is basically like giving yourself a shower. You actually don't have to shower after you do all this stuff because you're, you're cleaning your skin already. And you just want to get a good, good coat of coconut oil all over. And of course the back's always the hardest to get, but you just do your best. And now, you just start, you want a 90 degree angle. You can see, you start scraping. You want to hit every inch of your body. Again, this works the best when your pores are open. So as you can see, I'm just covering each area. One way to tell you got all the areas is there's going to be little oil in that area. So that's how you know you've already gone over it. And since I've been doing this, as you can see, just hitting. And your skin will get thinner and thinner every time you do this because you're literally squeezing out layers of pus. And a lot of stuff, a lot of people tell me, oh, you're so thin. Really, lean is clean. Clean is lean. If you have a lot of body fat, all it means is that you have a lot of toxicity. If you have a lot of mass, and the challenge is to gain mass without gaining toxins. It's good to eat a clean diet and stay away from electromagnetic fields or ground yourself. Get sunlight, drink clean water. Watch your exposure to blue light at night. And try to eat a diet that's low in sugar for a while. You'll find that sugar works short term. I was a fruitarian for couple years and you feel good and you have more energy at first and then you find that you're always hungry and that's because these critters the most rowdy partiers in the body crave sugar and that's like yeast mold fungus parasites I went to a concert last year and before the concert started I saw the parents gave their kid Sour Patch Kids mixed with popcorn and I knew that she was going to be bouncing off the walls by the end of the performance. And that was actually the case. She couldn't stand still. She was like all over the place. She, and her parents were like basically hold, trying to hold her down. And eventually her dad got up and took her away. And I was like, oh good, he's going to talk to her. Tell her if she doesn't calm down, you know, they're going to leave. But no, he came back and she had ice cream. So this is how it works. These creatures that eat the sugar, they're not happy until they get more. And they'll modulate your emotions and your actions to get what they want. So it sounds a little, what you'd say, conspiracy-ish. But like, do your experiment. Don't take my word for it. Cut out sugar. Do a high fat thing. High fat, low carb. I've taken some nutrition classes and the teacher was even saying that was the only diet that was proven to be effective at weight loss. It's high fat, low carb. Fat has nine calories per gram. Carbs and proteins have four calories per gram. So now I'm gonna put the fulvic acid on. But a few drops. You don't want to get this on your clothes or anything. You just rub this in, and now you're feeding your skin minerals. You can also use the magnesium. Just spray that all over. This is 31% magnesium. 
Now I'm feeding my skin. Anything you put on your skin, you should be able to eat. All of this is edible, even the, the vodka solutions, you can drink it and it's a tonic. But as I was saying, fats have nine calories per gram, while carbohydrates and proteins have four calories per gram, so there's more energy in the fat. And you'll be sustained longer, you have to eat less, you have to buy less food, you'll just have some more stable moods. Just try it out, see how you feel, it can't hurt. And it's called ketosis. If this is the benefits of fasting, it's where your body goes into a state where it doesn't have any glucose to run on, so it starts breaking down the fats in your body, in your thighs, your butt, wherever there's excess fat in your body, ketosis will cause your system to start breaking down the fat, because it's looking for energy anywhere, so it goes to the fat. This is the genius behind that MLM called Purium, a 10 day transformation cleanse. That's pretty much what they're using. It's a low carb thing where your body will get into ketosis, but it has all the nutrition. So you can do that yourself without spending a lot of money just by eating a lot of superfoods, drinking a variety of liquids, which I'll make videos on hibiscus teas, low sugar, like berry-based smoothies with a ton of greens, a lemon cayenne drinks, blue-green algae, the probiotic brew, it's a huge one. The more liquids you have, the better you'll feel, the better this stuff will work too. Because you can actually hurt yourself with this protocol if you're not ready for it. Uh, here's some GAC for sure. Finally, the body's releasing. Look at that. That is a. Uh, that is intense. Just came out of my arm right now. Look at that color. That's that's uh. It's pretty gnarly. Sometimes it takes a little while where your skin starts letting go of these things. Just got some more. Some more right there. So, this is a, a slow process. You just keep working at it. Especially for women, this is really important to get the. It's more, it just keeps coming. It's called cheese. It's really important to get the armpits because this is where a lot of cancers come from of the lymph. And you just don't want to do this dry. That's the key. Just keeps coming out. My skin is just letting go of this stuff right now. And you just keep reapplying the coconut oil if you want to keep doing it. Yeah, as you can see, it just keeps coming and coming and coming. So that's all that stuff was, it's important to understand, was in my skin. You do uh, palms. You can use the side of this, you can use this part. and your skin will release the most when it's hot. So I've been kind of baking under the sun here, so I feel like that's why my skin is finally releasing. And again, you just keep reapplying this transdermal magnesium just everywhere. 70 to 80% of Americans are deficient in magnesium because of the soil practices that we've been using. It's just not in the soil anymore, so it's not in the food. So to add magnesium to your system through the skin, you bypass the digestive system. A lot of people are doing, putting magnesium in their drinks, and that's good, but you wanna hit every area. When you're working on detoxing the body, you wanna work from outside in and from inside out. 
I had acne for years, starting in high school, and I tried everything. I saw those infomercials on TV for all the different products, and I would get really excited and I would try them. I'd see that they didn't do anything. It's important to know that whatever you put on your skin, you're eating because you absorb it through the skin and it goes directly into your bloodstream. That's why using sunscreen isn't smart. If you are going to use sunscreen, get a natural one, but if you use this method long enough, you'll find that you don't need sunscreen at all. Especially if you start taking astaxanthin, which is a red algae. It's usually found in salmon, to give salmon the pink color. Look at the studies on astaxanthin. I've been taking it for months now. That's an internal sunscreen. One time I went camping, I brought my juicer. This is when I was really passionate about juicing. I brought my veggies, I juiced right there on the campsite, and I drank full pitcher, had to be like a gallon of green juice, like celery, carrot, cucumber, I can't remember what else. And we were out in the sun on the lake, on the little paddle boat, for like two hours. I did not burn at all. And look at me, I'm, I'm white. And once your skin, once you have all the things lined up, of course if you eat a burger, probably gonna burn. Because that's gonna kind of add some toxins to, to your system. It's really coming out now, look at that. Here, I'll show you that one. You wanna do this for, see that there. You wanna do this for a while. Because your body's just gonna keep kicking out this stuff. And how aggressive you can be depends upon how you're eating. If you have greens in your system, you can see that it's just just going going down. You wanna do like a lot of smoothies when you're doing this, just a lot of liquids, a lot of really good water, either distilled or RO. Just keep rubbing it on the towel when you take this stuff off because you want to look at this later and you'll wash these towels and you'll notice that this stuff's not coming out. You could bleach them, you could do whatever. It's because this stuff's really gnarly things and it gets caught in the tissue. You can try to take this stuff out in internally with cleanses and stuff, but until you actually do the work and scrape it out, this stuff's lodged in the pores, you have to understand. It needs that mechanical action to get it out. You could do all the enemas and the saunas in the world until you actually do the physical work like this. What's necessary, because it's you need to squeeze the pores and they'll release all the garbage. And this is an experiment, so I'm fairly new at this. I've been playing around with it for three years but I've never gotten this consistent with it. So I recommend you be consistent with this for a little while, at least go through at least one bottle and see how you feel. I got dizzy yesterday from doing this. If you feel kinda, kinda drunk. A lot of stuff's coming out the skin, but it's also some of it's going back into your system to be processed into the blood and the lymph. It's very critical that you stay hydrated when you're doing this. Drink a ton of liquids and don't slow down the detox. Don't get scared and stop it. Just keep going through. That's the best way to always do it. A lot of people that get the flu or the cold, which you should never be getting anyway, they try to take things to the store, Advil, NyQuil, to stop the symptoms. No, you want to accelerate everything. You want to go through it. Otherwise, you're just suppressing symptoms, which is what our current system does best. And you're just actually just degrading yourself. What happens too is that a lot of these creatures, especially the sugar monsters, they'll get you sick. The parasites, the yeast, the mold, the fungus. And then 
once you get better, now your system's basically downgraded. So you want to upgrade all the time. This is one of the ways to upgrade. Now, with your back, I just do my best. I just... Let's see if I got anything there. Yeah, still got some cheese. So you just do the best you can by yourself. Ideally, you have a partner squeezing your skin to open up the pores. And you want to get try to get like a 90 degree angle. You can be as aggressive as you want. You just have to know your body. And you get some like little scarring. That'll go away. And you just slow it down. You start again after you healed. My body, is, as you can see, it's more red, especially my chest. That redness, you kind of want to have that. So the that kind of yellow coating that a lot of people have is not good. Let's see. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, this is all gunk. This isn't. It's. It's it's a thick liquid. I'm not just scraping off the the alcohol with this. Yeah, if you can, you pull. Some areas you can kind of pull the skin. That's when you really get the stuff out. And yeah, you just get as many areas as you can. And that's gua sha. So, you get all this earth shift, bullhorn spoon, full of acid. Remember, just keep Keep applying all these things to your body, you're literally feeding it through your skin because the pores are open. And the magnesium and the fulvic have a dual action effect, so they not only feed the skin, but they clean the skin. Magnesium is super like disinfectant. Magnesium will go in and just any pores that you opened up with this stuff and squeeze the gunk out of. The fulvic and the magnesium will finish the job. We'll go in and we'll eat up the rest of that gunk in that pore that you just squeezed the junk out of. It's critical after you clean the skin with the alcohol solution to put something on that will assist. And the coconut oil is great because it's antibacterial, all those things, but the fulvic and the magnesium are really where you'll see the see the benefits. And I just, Wow, that's really dark. Yeah, and I could be pretty aggressive with myself, so this is the darkest one yet. Look at that. <laughs> so as you can see, it just keeps getting better and better. Now it's I'm kind of getting into a a different shade of green. <laughs> so that's oh, look at that. So you can tell this is really effective. This is actually taking that crap out of the pores. And the fulvic is helping my body to release all that garbage. The fulvic opens up, especially when it's used full strength, just opens up the pores. It's like a lime green. Just experiment with this. Experiment with washing. You might have to shave your skin. You want to hit as many parts of your body as you can. Just experiment with this. Try it out. The skin's only seven layers thick, so it's paper thin. If you can just squeeze it out and bring that garbage up and open everything up like it should be, a way to tell if you're plugged, you have acne. You can't sweat that easily when you work out. You should be able to go in a sauna and start sweating within couple minutes, five minutes. There's just these little signs, or you have body fat. It's another way to tell. I've been dealing with chronic acne for years. I feel like a big part of that was eating a high sugar diet where I was feeding a certain level of creatures in my body, certain species that really caused a lot of havoc because they poop in the body and that ends up plugging up the body, especially the skin. So I'm kind of like backpedaling now 
doing a lot of liquids, just high fat, one meal a day, or just not eating until 4 p.m., just doing a lot of liquids most of the day, just detoxing, cleansing. Because when you're doing liquids, when you don't have any food in your stomach, that's when herbs like Bacopa monieri are effective. That's when all these detox methods are very effective, where you don't have food in your body because your body's not trying to process that stuff. That's why fasting is so popular, is because when you don't have food in your stomach, your body cleanses easier. But there are ways, instead of doing like a seven day fast, I prefer to stay on a maintenance routine so where I don't have to do intense things all the time. I can just a little bit all the time for the rest of my life. That way I don't have to do these crazy cleanses. So look into gua sha and get all this stuff on earthshiftproducts.com. I'll have a link below. The coconut oil, the solvents, the bullhorn spoon. Try this out. Make your own videos about it. Comment below, like this video, and please subscribe. Many more to come. This is all an experiment. Just try it out. See what comes out of your skin. It's kind of freaky. All right.